to 1997, CNN did an interview of Osama bin Laden, a very famous interview uh, of him. Uh, could, under your theory, uh, and that, that interview became where he first time declared war against the United States uh, to a Western audience. And uh, that interview became famous, tool for recruiting, notoriety. Uh, could, under your theory, CNN have been sued for uh, aiding and abetting the September 11th attacks? I, th I th it would probably fail several elements, I think. Uh, which, general, which ones? Well, I think general awareness of its role. Um, it general, you don't think they were generally aware of his role when he declared war against the United States and said, no, I, 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 that seems, the, the, a, and that was known beforehand. That was the first time he did it to a Western audience. The, the standard is, whether they would have necessarily understood the role that the that the interview would play. But look, the First Amendment's going to oh, solve that. I'm sorry. The First Amendment's going to solve that? And I, I think the First Amendment would solve that problem. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, but the uh, liability under this statute, but for that, uh, there would be liability under this statute? It's, it's difficult to see how it would get through the six elements of substantiality in terms of um, duration, it's one interview in terms of um, nature of the assistance, which is just a, a television interview. Um, the, um, it, it there would, I, I, th I think it, I think it usually would not, um, but, but I think the First Amendment would, would be a. Different, different tack. Just more generally, yes. I think you've heard um, Mr. Waxman and Mr. Needler talk about businesses that provide services uh, on an arm's length basis to a variety, all comers and not on a favorable basis. Uh, 